Hey guys, Scorpop here. Today I'm going to be explaining how to solo Malagos in the Eye of Eternity from Wrath of the Lich King. So, the reason you'd want to solo this boss is he supposedly has a chance to drop Reigns of the Azure Drake and Reigns of the Blue Drake. I must put a disclaimer here. So, in original Cataclysm, Malagos actually dropped both Drakes on 10 man and 25 man. However, it's unclear if this is the case right now in a Cataclysm Classic because Blizzard has stated that the Blue Drake drops on 10 man and the Azure Drake drops on 25 man. So I'm not actually sure if this uh, Azure Drake actually does drop on 10 man, but if we're true to Cataclysm, it should be dropping. Alright, so phase one at the start of the fight here, you're going to click the orb in the middle, uh, you're going to misdirect your pet, send him in, make sure you're on the side because he does a breath and a tail swipe, just like any other dragon. Now throughout the fight, he's going to periodically summon these power sparks. What you're going to do is wait for them to get about midway through, you're going to kill them, and then you're going to stand in the lightning area that they leave. So what this is going to do is this is going to increase your damage by 50%. And if two spawn in the same location in a row, you can actually uh, kill them in the same spot and stack them up, and it will further increase your damage even more. And of course, I must say that if Power Sparks do get to Malagos, it's not the end of the world. It just increases damage for a little bit. Just make sure you keep Mend Pet rolling. Your pet shouldn't really die here. He's also going to use Vortex, and that's going to send you up in the air and spin you around. But that's also going to make your pet disappear, and so he drops all threat on your pet, basically. If he does that, you need to make sure you have Feign Death up for the next time he comes down. After that, there's not much further explanation needed for Phase 1. Uh, just burn him down. Phase 1 is going to end at 50%. So at 50% health, Malagos is going to go up in the air and have this big long monologue speech. While he's doing that, you're going to do your best to DPS him down as much as possible. At the start of the second phase here, what you're going to do is misdirect these two Nexus Lords to your pet, and then you're going to feign death. If you do not feign death, these Skions of Eternity that are up in the sky, there's four flying around. They will actually continually cast on you if you don't feign death. So by feigning death, you're essentially having them exit the fight and completely ignore you. Just misdirect your pet, kill these first two Nexus Lords. Once both of them are dead, hopefully you kill them before Malagos manages to use Surge of Power. You want to get on the disc, and once you're on the disc, you're going to do your best to kill the four Skions of Eternity that are flying around here, basically. And you can cast while uh, moving on this disc, since it counts as you standing still. You don't actually have to go in Aspect of the Fox or anything. You will not succeed while I draw breath! Find shield. Do it now. to reclaim 
All right, and here comes phase three. In phase three, before Malagos becomes active, you're gonna wanna pre-put up five stacks of the healing debuff before uh, before he comes out. You need to make sure you've got your engulfing stacks up on Malagos, and they never fall off. You want to keep that debuff up on Malagos at all times, or else you're not going to beat the Enrage timer. So that is the number two ability. So the rotation you want to do is one, one, two, three. This is essentially going to make it to where you have full healing stacks at all times, while also keeping up your debuff on the boss here, and you want to be at a relative distance from Malagos. You don't want to be in melee range or else I believe he does some kind of like melee attack damage because he does a lot of damage in melee range but if you're away from him he doesn't actually do that damage which is good. If you're having trouble with his phase I have heard in the hunter discord that you can delay your engulfing stack ability up a little bit and try and build up energy to use a flame shield which is the number five ability. And what that's going to do is protect you from Surge of Power damage, but you also have to make sure you have healing stacks up. I personally didn't do this method, and I just did 1, 1, 2, 3 the entire time. However, I did almost die. I actually ended the fight with 5% health left, and at one point I reached 2% health, but I did accidentally go into melee range, so don't do that. And of course, just move out of these static fields. Keep your debuff stacks up. Keep the healing debuff up on you, don't let it fall off, and you're going to actually manage to kill this boss. Good luck out there, guys. Good luck with the mount, and have yourself a good one. Peace. My mission is to protect you. My mission is to protect you. Get out of here. Let's move. Now! Head to the chopper! My mission is to protect you. My mission is to protect you. Get out of here. Let's move. Now! Get to the chopper! My mission is to protect you. Get out of here. Let's move. Now! Get to the chopper! My mission is to protect you. My mission is to protect you. Unthinkable! The mortals will destroy... Everything! My sister, what have you... I did what I had to, brother. You gave me no alternative. 